quick video in the car, cycling video in the car. This is the best for sure to get if you want to race Div 1, if you want to be a pro, or if you're an absolute beginner cyclist, this shoe will definitely caddy for your needs. It's made by a company called Specialized, the S company. What I like about this shoe, it's lightweight, it's stiff enough, but the, what I love about it is it has this, what's called a slip knot sole. It's a rubber sole, so you can actually walk around pretty easy on it. And it doesn't have any laces. I don't like laces because laces can get caught in cranks and chains. It's got straps, it's a pretty light shoe. It's a very cheap shoe, about 130 bucks US. Um, and it runs, you can run it with mountain bike pedals. So I recommend, what's the model called? It varies from country to country. Basically, it's made by Specialized, and the feature that I like about it is it has what's called the slip knot sole. It's a rubber sole. So just walk into a Specialized shop that stocks Specialized product and ask for a Specialized shoe that has the slip knot sole. Are you sponsored? I'm not sponsored by Giant, Specialized, or Cannondale or Trek. I just like some of their product. So ask for the Specialized shoe that has a slip knot sole. If they don't know what it is, then you're probably not you know, in the right shop. But Ask him what it is. What pedals to get? Get the Shimano A530. That's the best pedal to get if you're an entry-level cyclist. Starting out, Shimano A530. It's a dribble pedal, uh, light enough. What I like about it is it's double-sided. In that one side is a flat side for sneakers or just getting off the lights, and the other side you can clip in. So it's a great pedal, durable as well. Um, that's my tip. So, if you've got any questions? Ask down below. But that's the best shoe, best pedal combination to start with. As, and it's going to take you many, many years of use, definitely. Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. See you around.